Scorpio what is going on you guys it is Mira it is Shira it is Vera it is Scorpion Red Zero I am back at it again one time for the one time to let my babies my darlings know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of May 2020 show me the months he energy baby yes it is our dear it is our year my dear listen I can't even talk listen help me Jesus let me get my coffee so listen I want to give a big shout out to all my OGs, to my newbies. Thank every last one of you guys that has clicked, like, share, and subscribe this video or been hanging around at my channel and just sending love vibrations at any point in time because you guys have been amazing during this time. We just got a brand new deck that just hit the mail, y'all. That came early, for a matter of fact. The Muse Tarot, y'all, this is a beautiful deck. I don't know if y'all been checking out the um, community tab. Mr. Dennis just sent a lot of big love. We got five new amazing decks. Man, thank every last one of you guys for all of the show of support, man. Every time that these videos resonate and you guys send a dollar, two dollar, three dollar, four dollar, it don't matter what it is through the cash app, through the PayPal, y'all send decks. Whatever it is that y'all do and y'all send love and support and just like hearted energy towards my way, it really, really is highly appreciated over here so i just want to send a big shout out and a big thanks to every last one of you guys that i've been talking to within the last what four or five weeks and things since we've been locked in in this uh incarceration okay so um if anyone wants to reach out to me if these videos resonate the first way to show your love and support is always is just to click the like and subscribe button and share if you care if you want to reach out to me for private reading click the about um the about tab on my page all right it gives you the pricing list and um once you send in your payment just send me a message on um instagram and depending on my availability, which we have a lot of free time here, which I've been, uh, my bookings have been filling up a lot, but a, a lot of you guys, as soon as you guys book, depending on what I'm doing, y'all be getting y'all readings like right now. You know what I'm saying? So y'all go ahead and reach out to me and let me know what's going on. And, um, we gonna get it popping. Okay. If you don't have Instagram, you can reach out to me on Google Hangouts or just simply send me an email at, uh, ScorpionRads at gmail.com and if you want to reach out to me on Google Hangouts because you don't have Instagram just use that email which again is ScorpionRads at gmail.com so as we always do we want to give Father God the creative thanks before we go into any messages okay I feel like everyone's been feeling really lighthearted and very loving and very calm and uh, very creative at this time so we just want to give Father God thanks so Father God, thank you so much for reaching down and just touching each and every one of us. Um, the sign of Scorpio, you know we are built for tough. You know we are built very strong to withstand any type of weather. Um, but we have very, very much respect for nature. We have very, very deep respect for Earth because natural disasters can come at any point in time. Do you understand? And no one, no one, you know, is immune to just natural things happen that are outside of our expectancy and that it's just nature's way of nature taking course and making some changes so um the way we are built up the way our bank account is set up okay <laughs> the way our bank account is set up we already was prepared for any type of natural disasters because we done been through them before and we done survived them last time and we gonna survive it again this time. You know what I'm saying? That's the Scorpio way. We are just a pillar of strength. You know what I'm saying? So uh, we thank you so much for building this for tough. And even though we might have had some tough experiences in our life, if we would have not gone through those experiences, we would not be just flourishing through this time in our life right now because we are indeed flourishing father god and we thank you and we give you the honor and the praise for all of that you understand 
Because our story has already been written and our path has already been paved before us and can't nobody take that away from us. Nothing or nobody. Even during natural disasters, we still got a steps to move and we got things to do. You know what I'm saying? Because victory is ours, especially in 2020. Show me the money energy. So, Father, we claim all of the victory over our life and we thank you for every single blessing that you have put in our path. Amen. So, Father, please give us guidance for the sign of Scorpio. Thank you for touching us and touching everyone in our path, Father God, and having us on the right direction. Please give us guidance for the month of May, and thank you so much for the nourishment and abundance that we have in our life every day. We pray, amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. All right, Father, let's get into this. Let me have a sip. Excuse me. Okay, girl, my little cinnamon latte, girl. Okay, come on now, hold on. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, God. Now listen, they said go ahead and pop it off with the unicorn deck. Go ahead and get the unicorns out. Get the you listen, they said the unicorns is in the building. <laughs> they said some pink unicorns is in the building. Pull that unicorn deck out, mama. Yes. So let's see what we got, y'all. Give me guidance for my Scorpios. For me. Let's see what they got to say. Yes. I ain't trying to hurt them too much today, Scorpio. Don't hurt them, baby. Let's see, girl. Oh, let's see. Ooh. <laughs> Action. Oh, honey. Hold on. Hold on. I just didn't giddy up, honey. I'm hearing, um. <laughs> yes! I'm hearing pony. Come on, what you want? No, own it. Let's do it. Riding my pony. My saddles. Waiting. Coming. Jump on it. Listen, come on. It's time for action, Jackson. It says now is the perfect time to act. Take inspired action towards your dream. Move forward with confidence. Come on. Yes, girl. Let's get, get, get it. Come on, let's get what's under this. Oh, and we got hope under the day. Hold on, who don't cut the hair off? Who just cut the hair? Who just cut the hair all the way? Oh, someone just said, fuck it. This shit is just looking all scruffy, all my shit. What Scorpio man just went and just whacked all his shit off, sit up there looking like a goddamn paratrooper. Oh. <laughs> that goddamn Navy cut. Oh. <laughs> the buzz cut. Who did, who did that to your hair? This is, don't be setting your kids up. <laughs> Trying to take the clippers in your own hands in the name of Jesus. Oh. Fuck! <laughs> Ooh, who the wind just cut all the hair off? <laughs> it's look fresh. Oh, this looks so fresh. It looks like someone just trying to cut their hair. Ooh, Jesus. Continue to go forward with hope and faith and just knowing, you know, you had hope and faith you was going to cut your list out like... <laughs> I can't. Okay, listen. It says, stay positive. The worst is behind you. Look up to the light in the name of Jesus. Listen, you don't cut all of your shit. You know what? They, okay, so they just said someone cut their dreads off or their hair off because, like, it carries a lot of, like, dead weight of old energy. You know, like, they, they said, like, um, people can have long hair, but they'll be, like, a lot of that is, like, split ends and, like, dead hair or something like that. Like, dead and damaged hair. You know what I'm saying? So, it's, like, someone just, like, cut everything, like, real low to, like, start off a fresh and healthy mane. You know what I'm saying? So, someone might have, like, cut their dreads off because it, it has, like, a lot of pastime energy or something like that. That they ain't want to carry that weight on their head. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes when you have long dreads and stuff, sometimes that stuff is heavy. You know what I'm saying? You know how people get their hair pinned up, their dreads pinned up in those nice little buns and all of those little things, the pinned up little styles. That stuff be heavy on people's necks sometimes. So it was just like a lot of heavy energy and a lot of dead, damaged, you know, hair. So everyone just, you know, just cut this shit off. And it's moving forward with a brand new fresh cut. Come on, Scorpio men. Y'all better come on in. Come on, Poppy. Yes. Come on. Oh, this is someone is taking action. Pond the Scorpio was or Scorpio was moving in hope and taking action out there. Let's get into. Let's get into and she. Ooh, and he got beautiful green eyes too. Are those blue or green eyes? 
it looked like a turquoise -y. I, it's like a mixture between blue and green eyes um that is basically giving me energy of like a turquoise that's like turquoise is a very like a calming stone it i feel like that helps with like anxiety or something like that and just help people literally with their hope and faith and helping people stay positive and things like that like i have some little turquoise beads and, you know stuff like that you know with the little chakra stones and things so i feel like someone is very balanced in regards to a male energy very balanced very aligned and it actually looks like they're their unicorn horn is like, is this a new horn? I'm feeling like someone's like horn had fell off or something or like someone had poached their unicorn horn or something like that. But like they were left alive or something and it's like they're growing a brand new fresh horn. They cut their hair off. Like this is someone that has really reinvented themselves. And you see how white he is? He is so pure. And action oriented, I'm loving that. But you can see that this is someone that is older. Like this is someone that is older. So I'm feeling like this is someone that is older, masculine energy that has stood, that has stood the test of time. And um, seems like they're starting their whole appearance over. Someone's changed their appearance. Has a whole new look and is regrowing their unicorn horn. Because one fell off and it's a brand new one. And this one is very sharp. Like this one is very sharp. Very sharp. The Hierophant. Wow. The Hierophant represents like institutions. It represents like, um, it kind of represents institutional thinking. So I'm going to say it like this. Oh my God, this damn. Okay, girl, you about to get on my nerves. Oh, no. <laughs> Listen, ice cream truck girlfriend. You about to get on my nerves, girl. I cannot deal with that right now, honey. Okay, so listen. So, the Hierophant, it shows change. It shows someone walking into a path that has more structure, more foundation. Um, this person is more focused on their faith and their legacy. They want marriage. They want commitment it's like this person yeah it's like this person is cut whatever the old things whatever the, because it's like even that the old hair it came out of that old brain in the way that old person thought in the past that person doesn't think like that no more so that's why this person has a fresh cut they don't want no old energy from whatever they did in the past it's like their horn is new like everything is new so i feel like you guys have Got a fresh cut, have a fresh approach with that number five. You've been through some conflicts and some challenges, but it caused a lot of change and it made you realize that you rather have a more committed and structured life, not kind of just being out there trying to be a wanderer, doing things on your own. It's like having a more traditional life and actually wanting to be committed to something, actually want, wanting to be committed to faith. And hope seeing how the people that has followed in that same footsteps and that same path how it has worked out for them and people are abundant and they are like protected in a certain way and they live a certain lifestyle and they carry a certain energy and it's like I want to go that way I want to go in that direction I want to understand and know that approach of life you know, so it's like you going under the uh, instructions of the higher fan and like kind of like changing your lifestyle, really. And committing yourself to a new faith, you know. Someone has most definitely changed their appearance and everything like that. And they're ready for commitment. Like how, ooh, the ace of fucking emotions. This is the ace of cups, y'all. 
This is new life, new love. This is like when the cup is overflowing. This person is accepting love in their life. Accepting love and commitment in their life. And it looks like they are focused on the opportunity to like show their commitment of love and affection. And this is this someone looking for marriage. The ace of emotions. Yes, God. Come on now. What is this? And this is the muse of voice. So this is the king of, this is basically the king of swords card. So whoever this individual is, is a loner right now. This is not a person that's attached, that's in a relationship. Um, the king of swords is typically the bachelor of the male sector. You understand? So this one is more of a visionary Um they have a very intellectual mind right now. Um, they're like... I feel like this person has gone through enough experiences in their life where they can offer a lot of people insight and introspection on certain situations and things that kind of had them backwards where they might have had some struggles and stuff like that. So there's a lot of wisdom and clarity from this person. Um, this is someone that doesn't ha has a lot of balance with their self. This is like the justice system or like a judge or something or like, you know, um, this person speaks the truth and only the truth. You know what I'm saying? Like this person wouldn't lie for no reason. You know what I'm saying? Even if it was to save their life. You know what I'm saying? Like if they were in a hostile situation and they know if they just tell someone this lie that they will let them go they still wouldn't lie they would die an honorable death you know what I'm saying they wouldn't let a lie slip their tongue ever you know what I'm saying it's like this person is a person of honor is a person of truth um and it looks right here like this person is a um a collector of the arts in regards to um they might like a lot of eclectic music, music that has meaning, um, whatever it is that they do, whatever art, whatever it is that they listen to, whoever they're listening to, they only listen to people where they can really uh, gain some type of insight or wisdom or things like that. So they don't really surround themselves around people that are not intuitive and smart and that they couldn't learn something from. Um, this is a person who is open to a lot of communication right now. And it looks like this person is basically dancing free and harmonious in their life right now. It looks like they look, they're looking for someone to communicate with, um, to share a lot of information. Like this person, this is a male that gets off on a very smart woman, intellectual woman, someone that they can learn from. The seven of emotions. This person has had many options in the past and has made many, many mistakes and have learned from um, walking and selecting the wrong path. It's like they don't want to make the wrong choice anymore. Um, they will sit and thoroughly go over their options and, and, and figure out how it would make them feel not just right now, but in the future. You understand what I'm saying? In the future. The king of voice. He want to make sure whoever that they select in their life. It's not about options. It's about quality. You know, if I'm an honorable, per if I'm an honorable person, if I'm a respectable person, if I wouldn't lie, I got to make sure that the person that comes into my life will honor me in the same way wants to dance and listen to the same type of music that I do, you know, have that same, yeah, because this person doesn't want to feel mentally trapped. This person, it's like, I feel at this point right now, someone is trapped right now because they're burdened by making a decision right now in which option to choose from and it's like it's almost kind of like driving them mentally crazy and it's like they're kind of stuck in their own head and um 
They're so focused on making the right decision and making the right choice. It seems like they're kind of trapped and maybe not making a decision at all. And I feel like that's why they're telling you to take action and keep hope. You know? Because it's like you want to go to this dance or something. I don't, I don't know. I feel like someone wants to go out. It's like someone wants to go out and live life and communicate and like, you know what I'm saying? Like very, very air sign. Like, you know what I'm saying? Very expressive. Like wants to talk all the time. The hangman. Yeah, this is someone is still hung up and um, they're trapped in their mind about making a decision because they're not trying to make the wrong choice. I feel like this is someone that's trapped in their decisions and I feel like they're keeping their self away from the option right now. I want to say that they're kind of hanging back and just kind of watching and they said they're remote. The six of materials. This is gift giving um giving assistance, lending a hand, helping, taking care of someone. Um, there could be someone that's hung up in a situation with having to assist and take care of someone that's leaving them trapped. And I feel like that's slowing them down from making a decision. But I feel like they have enough to give. But see, this is two women right here. You understand what I'm saying? So, um, and this person might be a little bit upside down here. I'm getting like a Gemini, like an air sign male that could be a little bit hung up. And... That might have the option of two. I feel like this is someone that has an option of two. And it's not about quantity, about what someone can give. It's about the quality. This person is looking for love. This person is looking for a commitment. So, and even on this, you see it's like two different dances or something. So, I don't know if I feel like this is like a man that might be about to go on two different dates right here. Um... So that they can make a final choice and kind of get out of this goddamn prison about this bullshit. It's just like, this shit is just driving me crazy. Just constantly trying to make a decision about this thing. Um, they just said it's time It's time to make a date. That's what this person's saying to me. It's like they're tired of like going back and forth between two choices in their head. Um, I don't even think that this person... Clarify this for me real quick because I don't even think that this person is given to two people. I feel like this is just the thought of. I feel like this is the thought of something. I don't know if someone is hung up in some type of financial obligation. But with the six of material, it seems like their materials and their abundances is, is flowing. It's flowering and stuff like that. So it's like they do have a certain amount of abundance to give. You understand what I'm saying? But. They're, they're still trapped in some state of illusion a little bit. Because this, the set of emotions can represent illusions. Give me guidance. Please. Clarify this over here. Thank you so much. Clarify this for Scorpio for me. And they said this is something around you. The Queen of Voice. Again, I'm getting like... Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The king of voices and the queen of voices. So this is like some soulmate type of thing like that. But the king of, of voices has two women on his card. She's the beholder. She's the keeper of secrets with those. Um, it's like she makes people face their talk, the, the dark truth. Do you understand what I'm saying? She makes people look at things that they don't want to see. And they have to like face hard truths and hard realities with her. Like she's very sharp tongue. She's quick witted. Um, she's going to. I mean, it's, it, it's, it's not that. 
respect needs to be demanded. Respect is going to be given. You know what I'm saying? Like it, she, it's 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 it's. It's like a demand. It's not even like a demand. Like when you walk up on this Queen of Swords, you already know how, you know, she, <laughs> I don't think you want to play with her too much. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because she, she will cut you with her words and she will cut you down with her sword. You know what I'm saying? And she's very quick and swift in action. And she's very intelligent and she will figure you out like that. As soon as you walk up on the scene, she will size you up and already have you. You know what I'm saying? It's like she has an intellectual, spiritual gift where um, she can peer into people's inner soul. And like she she is like a walking mirror to people. And that's what they say about Scorpio. Sometimes that's why it's so hard dealing with Scorpio women sometimes because our mouth and how we don't care about how we we don't care about how we spit the truth out sometimes and how it may hurt people. And it's like, it need to hurt you so you can grow and you need to face the truth. You know what I'm saying? That's the fucking Scorpio mother. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't give a damn if it hurt you. If it hurt you, get up and uh, uh, wipe your wounds off and don't fucking fall down again. You understand what I'm saying? So it's that's just like, you know... This girl has like some type of spiritual secret, some type of spiritual gift or something like that. Um, and that's why he wants to be honored with a woman like that on his level. Give me guidance right here on this muse of voice. What's going on? Because I really do feel like there's two different options. Yeah, the 10, like, and they just said a separation. So it's the, t okay, so they need to uh, release a drop of burden. It's like. Uh, the Ten of Wands, that is someone that is uh, carrying a burden and an, an insane load. And I, I feel like they might be carrying a load for a whole village or something all by themselves. And thinking that if they continue moving this way and with the same momentum and pace that they're going to finally get to where they want to go. But it seems like with every step you take, you're taking a ten step backwards. It seems like... You know, like, am I really going to achieve victory here? No. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's not even worth traveling to the destination because when you get there, it might not be all what it's cracked up to be. You know what I'm saying? Everything might not be what it seems. And you just carried your way and carried all of this burden and all of this. You went through all this trouble for nothing. You know what I'm saying? For nothing and for really nobody. Nobody that you really care about. Do you understand what I'm saying? So... Um, it, it is a burden that needs to be released here. Let's see. The six of inspiration. Um, there's a lack of recognition. So, this king, it seems like they're walking away from a situation where it seems like there's no real acceptance. There's no real recognition. There's really no reward in a the situation. They might have traveled a long way or look the night of emotions so it's like whoever this male is it's like they want to express their self in a way where it's like they're going to be acknowledged like this is someone that's writing poems and sends love letters and spent sends uh good morning texts and like they don't get no response and it's like Someone to tell them, oh, your messages are annoying. Like, why are you always sending me all of these messages all the time? And it's like, you don't like my messages. Like, I'm just showing you affection. It's like, you know, they, it's like you're not getting the reward. You're not getting the appreciation. You're not getting the acknowledgement. Like, people are not understanding why you are doing the things that you're doing. Why you're so passionate. And, what, you know what I'm saying? It's like they're, they're taking uh, the nice things and inspirational things that you're trying to do and they're throwing it in your space to make it seem like you know what I'm saying like that's some simple or stupid shit to do like why are you sending me all of these texts why are you being so loving and affectionate and so emotional and stuff like that and it's like why, why the fuck am I showing this shit to you and you don't appreciate it so it's just like I'm just going to stop doing it um I'm just going to stop doing it Give me guidance for him on this queen of voices. I need to get out of this deck, but this is just like telling me so much stuff. This is the new deck as well. Give me guidance. Number one. 
tell me this night of emotions okay so it looks like whoever this male is this is a male energy here um they're looking for commitment they're looking for something where they can have faith in the relationship and they can really express themselves in a loving way as you can see that this person is really galloping towards um an emotional commitment but it seems like they need to drop a burden from a place where they are not being celebrated, where they're not being acknowledged. Give me guidance. Tell me what this person wants to say. The muse of material. So it's like, so the muse of material, that's like the king of pinnacles. So it's, they need someone that... I'm assuming like all of these master cards have two energies on it. These women look like the gatekeeper. You see how this woman is walking across this bridge? Like these are like the gatekeepers to like harmony, harmony and success and true fulfillment and love and an abundant a life in a happy, successful environment and things like that. Everything grows and flourishes here. Um, this person, the type of relationship that they want as a man, okay? Because this is male energy here. Um, I they don't. I don't feel like they want someone that is cold as the night I don't feel like they it's like bitter night cold like I feel like it's something like that it, I like I don't know I don't know why I'm like mm -hmm. this energy isn't loving do you understand what I'm saying so I don't I feel like this person is like having to make a decision is it about an air sign person that was it's not loving. It's kind of more dark than they are light or something like that. Like, that's what I'm getting here. Still hung up having to give and in hopes to receive, being trapped. That's what I'm getting here. This person wants commitment and love in a relationship where things actually grow. The King of Pentacles is a hard working man. He works hard and he plays hard. Um, he likes animals. He likes plants. You know what I'm saying? So he might be in the gardening. He might be like a sharecropper or something like that. He might be a veterinarian. He might have like a lot of dogs, lizards, and like snakes and like things like that. Um, He's a very, very successful man and knowing how to make money and how to establish a home. He's very, very fertile. He loves to procreate and have sex. So this man might have a lot of kids and he likes to keep his, the type of woman that he likes. He likes a woman that stay in the house, really. He don't like no woman that's really all out there, all in the streets and stuff like that. He really like a woman that kind of like to be barefoot and pregnant in the home, likes to cook a lot um take care of the kids take care of the animals like she's even in the garden with him like she has a very very um stop markety mind like she knows how to make money in home like so this lady might have a job where she does like a like she might work from home or something like that. Like she could be a baker or she could do babysitting and make a lot of money doing that. Or you know what I'm saying? Like both of these people are kind of like homebodies, but has successful adventures where the home is very comfortable, very nice furniture. Everything is well taken care of. Everything is peaceful and loving and happy. There's a lot of hope. There's a lot of action. Look, this is action like... These people are 
always doing something, after always having sex and creating life, after planting life, after taking care of life, they are the masters and the cultivators of life. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is what this person wants. Cultivation of positive life. They don't want to come home and not be acknowledged. They don't want to come home and dinner not be cooked. They don't want to come home and have to deal with a whole bunch of frustration and shit like that or whatever. Or feel like someone is cold and distant and not appreciating their emotions and things like that. So let's just get some guidance right here for this situation. Okay. The three of emotions. This is in the reverse. So um, this could be like a third party situation right here again like i said this was someone that had options and is like struggling to choose from options this person feels trapped this person feels uh annoyed you know what i'm saying a little bit ignored you know what i'm saying by this queen of voice um and they're hung up in this situation so what this is basically saying is like you could be wrapped up in a situation with too many women, whoever this is. You see these three different women here. And you see this long hair. Remember I told you that's why someone cut their fucking hair off. Like someone has some long hair. And I'm again, someone cut their hair off because I feel like it had in it the energy trapped of three different felt relationships. I feel like someone cut their braids off. Like, I'm trying to tell you, there's some man that cut his fucking hair off. Y'all think I'm playing. There's someone that just cut their hair off. And whatever this is, this horn right here, that got cut off and is growing back new. And because it's like this person is has a new level of insight and a new mastery of voice and a new mastery of love. And also a new mastery of just like abundance, honestly. It's like the gatekeeper of abundance. Like the Hierophant has given them access into the gatekeeper of abundance. This person has mastered the art of speaking and has mastered the art of cultivating life and being able to financially take care of a, a household. All of that information, all of that teaching and stuff will honestly come under the Hierophant. How to be a good husband. Looking for a good wife. And it's like whatever it is right here. And then you got the chariot at the bottom of the deck. So it's moving forward emotionally strong. Do you understand? And then the moon. Okay. And then the two of voices. Okay. And then I'm going to stop. So what this is basically saying is. You need to unweave yourself. And if you need to cut off that old energy with a situation that's not working, this could have been someone that might have been a work partner. You might have been a business partner. Um, you might have had careful planning and try to like work together and make things happen. You might have even kind of got like a counselor or another teacher to come in, like a, a, a another study partner or something to kind of help. You guys learn a new skill to kind of come together and work together and it still didn't work. So it's just like, I'm just, I don't even want nothing to do with it. And now there's too many people involved. Like, I don't even like having all these people involved in this planning partnership. It's just, it's not working. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to work here anymore. So this is, could be someone that just quit their job or walked away from something that they did not want to work. Because it wasn't going to work. And then just moving, they're moving ahead triumphantly and it seems like their emotions is the driving force of where they're going and it looks like they're leading um this person knows where they want to go and you see how they are controlling the stallions and stuff like that so this person might be moving pretty pretty fast with like um a lot of athletic speed you know what i'm saying like a stallion you know what i'm saying like very strong legs or something like that and it's like their emotion is like driving them and things are coming to them quick the moon i feel like they're no longer being pulled in by illusions and things like that i feel like um it's like i feel like this person might have been scared of her for some reason. Because I feel like this curse, this person could have like. Uh, 
like I said, the holder of secrets. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the crows, it's like someone has some type of secrets. This means secrets and things like that. Um, the two of swords is someone that is sitting down and, and it's not moving and that is indecisive and it's not making a decision. And this is someone that is... The two of swords to me is someone that's taking the blindfold off so they can see things goddamn clearly. Because when the two of swords is in the upright, that's just a bitch just sitting there with two damn swords in her hand. Two options, two thoughts. And she ain't even got her glasses on. Okay? She got the blindfold on and can't see what she's about to choose. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, you're no longer trapped up in an illusion. I feel like you are like... Going more with your intuition about a situation. And you're not being a victim to an illusion. And the moon can also be someone allowing outside forces and outside entities to come in and push their fears on them. You know what I'm saying? So this could be, you know, like typically on the moon card is two wolves barking at the moon. So the Wolves are barking at the moon saying, you can't do this. You can't leave me. You're not going to be successful. You're not really going to make a decision to go nowhere. You're, you know what I'm saying? Trapped. You know what I'm saying? Trapped in thoughts, trapped in illusions, trapped in fears. You know what I'm saying? And things like that. And this person is like, I'm not about to sit here and be stuck. You know? Because these are not even my, my fears. These are fears that... This person might be putting into my head and I try to make things work and I don't want to make things work anymore. That's why I'm just moving ahead because I have a calling. My spirit is calling me to release myself from that and stop sitting there and being stagnated by choices. When you actually are blessed to have choices. So if you are blessed to have choices, don't sit there and not make a choice before you don't have any at all. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, so, no. Why are they telling me to go there? Okay, we can go there. Okay. Give me guidance for the Scorpio in regards to this action. And again, you guys, this could be you. This could be someone around you guys. Because I want to feel like this, someone, this might be someone outside of you guys. That might be taking some action towards you. They had to cut their hair off, honey. They had to cut their whole hair off and get rid of all of that old energy. They can move more lighter. Give me guidance in regards to this action for this Scorpio or this person dealing with the Scorpio. This is a lot. Jeez Louise. You guys are really trying to do it today. And we ain't even getting into no other decks. And I guess this is just how we're going to do it right here. The Five of Cups. So this person is taking action now because they're no longer like mourning the death of shit from past times. It's like I'm moving forward. I'm focused on my goddamn future. The King of Pentacles in the reverse. It's like they're trying to make a way with no way right now. You know, and it's like I can't even focus on what I got or what I don't got. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to continue to move forward and just try to be the best man that I can right now with what I got. You know what I'm saying? So this person might have a lack of resources or something like that or might not know the plan right now, but just kind of know that they don't mind working. You know what I'm saying? So, it's you know, this might be somebody that's out of work, but might be standing in front of the Home Depot like, listen, I'm here. I'm ready to work. Just like, you know, like wanting someone to kind of take a chance on them to show that they actually have skills. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like this is someone that has skills, but is not in the position. I mean, not in the conditions and not in the positions to show and use their skills. This is the start in the reverse. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this person had to go through a lot of situations to get stable and to regain their hope and they don't see the true potential in themselves this is someone that really doesn't see the star that they are they uh and that might be the reason for the lack thereof in their life right now because they really don't see their true worth you know what i'm saying they really don't see their true potential here um is this someone with the five of swords? I mean, not the, ooh, the five of swords, Lord Jesus, with the five of wands. This is someone that's, um, in comparison to others, like, they don't, 
feel like they shine as brightly in comparison to other like other people may may upstage them in some way um that's why it might be that lack of recognition. They feel like there's some type of competition or something. The judgment in a reverse means like um, things might just be unfair. Like things just haven't been in their favor for a minute. Um, the magician in the reverse. The magician in the reverse is basically someone that has magic abilities but have just used them in the wrong way in the past. You know what I'm saying? That really didn't acknowledge that you have to respect the gifts that you're given you know what i'm saying so that's like um someone can possess the gift of attraction or the gift of persuasion and instead of using it for positive things like you use it for things that could have possibly got you in trouble might have only bought you a temporary satisfaction but a long time like misery you know what i'm saying because as above so below what you put out you get right back so Sometimes when you do things in the wrong way, it'll slingshot and hit you right back. You know what I'm saying? Instead of hitting the target, it'll come back and hit you. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I feel like someone might have been going through a hard time right now and had to go through a lot of sacrifices. Um, and it might have been financial sacrifices, uh... Because they didn't see their true potential right there. And it seems like they are very gifted in some type of spiritual way. But I feel like they might not have been using their magic appropriately. And didn't realize how gifted they are with that star. And in a competition trying to compete in some type of way. I feel like did something that was unjust. And might have dealt with unfavorable consequences but with that five of cups i feel like they're over that now um they're turning away from those consequences and with that ten of cups it looks like right now they're trying to manifest new love true love real victory real harmony in their life but that with that ace of wands it just seems like there's been a delay because it seems like they don't know how to kind of get that spark back and that's why they're trying to pick things back up and get things back in action and i feel like someone is scared to use their magic right now because they didn't know how to appropriately utilize it before and it made them lose all of their assets and um, I feel like it stagnated them in regards to everything that they've been hoping and wishing for. And they now they've, they've been put in a position where they've been having to compete. And um, for some type of fame or recognition that they're not getting. Um, but they're continuing to take action and they're, they're, they're moving forward in steady hope. And that's why it's like I feel like before... It's like they they said I'm not trying to be the magician no more. I just I want to understand what the higher fan has been trying to tell me. I'm not trying to use my own magic no more. I want to do things a safe way. It seems like for me, um, cause it's like this person wants true love, and they've been having a problem kind of getting things going here. Um, give me guidance. And I can tell this about to be a long video. But I'm going to make it as long as I goddamn want. So I'm going to tell you that. Especially on my sign. Shit. You damn right. Y'all hit that like button if this is resonating. If this is resonating for you. If this is resonating for someone. What is this saying? Orbs of light. The spiritual realm. Okay. Again, that's still the Hierophant right there. That's God. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm not trying to do it my own way before trying to use my own magic because I didn't even know what the fuck I was doing, like for real, for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, using my gifts of charm and hypnotism and things like that in the wrong way. And it just put me in this battle with, with people that I shouldn't even be in competition with, all trying to save face to entertain the public like that's the six of wands to me is someone trying to entertain the public looking for fame and recognition from 
other people. You know what I'm saying? So what is this? It says eight, eight, eight. It says new opportunities and abundance are coming your way soon. All right. So I feel like continue your spiritual journey, whoever this is, that is changing. It looks like someone is moving out of a situation right here and it feels like they still been stumbling on a decision with that but it's like their heart knows what they want yeah it's like ivy something is still clinging to them something is still clinging to them regardless of the fact that they're trying to grow something is still clinging to them and that's this over here let me guide us to this ivy the cupid in the reverse so it's this this is not a love situation this is not a love or desirable situation. But it's like it's something that is still clinging to them that won't go away. And that's why I'm like 333 to Trinity, my body and soul. You are in the zone. Express yourself authentically. So, baby, continue to be action forward to it. Like. I don't feel like you gotta be in no competition and compete and stuff like that. I don't I don't Stop. Like, whatever you... Stop. Express yourself authentically. And you will always... In, you will always win in the end. You know what I'm saying? By the right... Damn, oh my God. What the fuck? Jealousy. Oh my gracious. If y'all been dealing with an air sign... There's some jealousy from an air sign. There's some jealousy from an air sign. Stinging. So this could be like some stinging or mean communication or something like that. Someone is still trying to cling to a situation where there's no love and there's no respect. There's no admiration. There's no honor. There's no acknowledgement. Jesus. Y'all about to make me go get the goddamn... um. Y'all, this about to be long. Listen, enchantment, the red rose, and the... Oh. Y'all, y'all gonna make me go get my other deck. Ooh, y'all gonna make me go get my shadows deck. Ciao. Ooh, y'all gonna make me get my shadows deck. Because you talking about someone clinging to someone and jealousy. Why we gotta go see what is going on in the shadows, honey? What is going on in the shadows? Please tell me what is going on in the shadows, with this person that's been trapped by this illusion and fears uh, with this moon card and that hasn't been able to speak their voice and make a decision because it's still having to give give me guidance in regards to this person that is still clinging to someone that doesn't love them anymore and that is in a fit of jealousy clarify the ivy. Cupid in reverse. Ooh, Jesus. My God. This person is embarrassed. Because you already see that this person is. They done cut their hair off. So it's like they could have cut whoever this person is. Like, look at the energy of this card. It's not like it's dark. You know what I'm saying? It's not a loving uh, it's not a loving energy like where this person is coming from with the Ace of Cups, with the Hierophants, the Ace of Emotions. Like this thing is grow. Does this match? And does this and this with this male energy with these two King cards? Do these match with this type of Queen? It it don't. It don't. That don't fit right there. It just don't. Y'all, that said, if someone is suffering, whoever this person that is jealous is, is suffering from embarrassment right now, y'all, they said this person is vengeful. And it looks like right here, this person is emotionally unstable and maybe cannot stop running their fucking mouth about you. Look, can't stop just word vomit out their damn skull talking about you this person cannot stop talking about you you guys this person is like emotionally unstable vengeful 
robotic. So this robotic and the reverse. So it's like this person is trying to, oh my God, invading. This this person has been, I'm getting like a, a robotic stalking. Like this person has been trying to overcome the urge of looking and watching everything that someone does. Um, this person is unstable and is jealous and I'm feeling insecure. They're embarrassed. It looks like someone is leaving. Um, they're jealous of someone. And whoever this person is jealous at, it's like they're trying to... They've had this robotic thing. Like, they get up every day, check this person's page to see if they posted anything. They check this site, then check this site, then check this site. And then they might go ride by this place, wherever they think that they live, and go look there. And this is that. And it's like this person is trying to stop looking at whoever this person is that they're jealous of excuses you got dependent so this person comes up with a lot of excuses to be dependent on a situation that isn't dependable or they shouldn't be dependent upon you know what i'm saying and it's like so this is like some type again like i be like some attachment like they need to stop being codependent and stop using excuses to be dependent on something and it like they might be using some type of low level manipulation they might be using some type of fucking magic or some type of bullshit like that that ain't gonna work that ain't doing nothing but backfiring on their goddamn ass because it surely looked like it don't look like whatever is it clearly looks like if whatever manipulation and magic that this person was doing it's just it's not working do you understand what i'm saying it's not working because at the end of the day, the only thing it did was stagnate this person where they got stuck in their thoughts and illusions. Again, here go the moon. Like I said, someone trying to push and cast their fears on someone else. You know what I'm saying? Remember, the wolves were crying to the moon and trying to tell them secrets and trying to tell them fears and trying to tell them worries and stuff. So it wouldn't follow its intuition because remember this the moon means intuition like your intuition will pull and things like that but there's a lot of negative uh things that come with the moon too where you have to really truly study the moon card and really know all aspects of the moon in order to really understand what the moon card is saying and when you got all of this stuff right here that's someone using some low level manipulation to push and catch fears into someone so that they can't use their own intuition and make a decision and it doesn't look like they are able to use that energy to keep this person held back and making it it don't matter what type of magic you use only thing you might can do is delay something and somebody else and hurt yourself more because this person is still a jet. Look, look at this. You're doing nothing but hurting yourself more, whoever is doing this. Because this person is still on their way. This person is running to the Hierophant now, if anything. Do you understand what I'm saying? They're running towards the orbs of light. New opportunities and abundance is still coming their way regardless. Look, you see the affinity sign as above, so below. So whatever negative things people are pulling out, you're not doing anything but hurting yourself here. You understand what I'm saying? You're not doing nothing but hurting yourself. So let's get some guidance here. Uh, let's wrap this shit up. Let me go to this Lenormand deck. Give me guidance right here for this young man that's under the muse he's a muse right now of the hierophant it looks like ace of emotion this person is uh trying to offer their cup and do love in a more committed fashion and it doesn't look like they're being trapped by anything uh it looks like this person is no longer in the crossroads and like i told you you cannot stop nobody from going where they're destined to go listen the whip right now. It seems like this person is getting a spanking right now from the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Um, this person has gone through some suffering. You know what I'm saying? For um, being controlled by this conflict and abuse. You know what I'm saying? So, like, this person has learned their lesson, it seems like they're... Um, because don't think that if you... Yeah... Oh, the snake. 
Okay? The bear. But this person doesn't have control over them no more. And they don't have access to them anymore. Listen. They don't have access to this gentleman anymore. You understand? So, the whip. It, so, basically, what this is telling me right now. The abuse and the suffering and the arguing and the hardships and the conflicts and stuff that they went through from the snake. The snake represents the other woman. Do you understand? This person, the bear represents control. It represents being dominated. This person is no longer being dominated by this person anymore. Remember the Ten of Wands. This person has let that burden go. They can no longer be controlled no more because the Hierophant is in this thing right now. This person has no longer access to this person because the Hierophant has taught this gentleman that you cannot give love to someone. You need to pay more attention of what you have and who you give it to because you can't just allow snakes and people to come into your and have access to your kingdom because they will hurt you and you will suffer more you know and they will try to manipulate you and they will try to take control of things like that and use any type listen they will use any type of bullshit to try to control you so that's why you don't even allow these people to have access listen this Eight of Diamonds is telling someone to take caution of everything that you have. Because as soon as you get it, it could go that way when you give access to the wrong people. Everyone doesn't deserve this gentleman's love. Do you understand what I'm saying? That is what is being taught to this person about a hierophant. Come on, Jesus. Come on and speak today. You come on speak today and give them something to say. Give me guidance. What's the outcome in love for this gentleman? Listen. The Hierophant has taught this person to be a master of voice, be a master of intellect, to be a master of truth, to be a master of honor, to be a master of respect. Another one, don't, don't chase fame and attention. That's something that comes to you naturally. You understand what I'm saying? Don't compete with no damn body. Mind, body, and soul, you are in the zone. Express yourself authentically and you will get that spark and you will figure that way. You will. Do you understand what I'm saying? And you will get. This man wants love. This man wants family. Like that's what this man wants. This man wants family. Give me guidance and love for this man. Please. Give me guidance. Okay. What is it saying? Stabbed in the back. This is in the reverse. This whoever this, this snake is. This person cannot hurt you anymore. This person can't touch you anymore. What is this? Love in the reverse. Like you can't be hurt by this person. That whoever this person was, this snake and stuff like that. I really do feel like this person is out to hurt whoever this male is. You know? Because this man isn't expressing love to them anymore. And it's like they're listening to, to God. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, ooh, the axe. I'm trying to tell you. The axe. Break up separation, stopping the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. This person has used the axe. This is the axe. They're on to the next. Give me guidance for the next. Oh, shit. Okay, listen. They want to go and date. Get to meet new people. Says meeting someone new. Getting back out there. A plan, a set of date. Okay, again. Look, for this person over here, they don't put their so this, the shade, the shade of the all, oh, the palm tree. They want this person to know that they are stability. They are stable. Whatever they're going through right now is permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility. Listen, shade, okay? The palm tree, okay? Listen, they are stable, okay? And I'm getting palms too. You know when Palm Sunday... Like this person, like I'm seeing palms. Palms. Like this person need prayer. Okay, what else was going on here? You got the phoenix in the reverse here. New phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, a change of mind. I don't feel like this person is changing their mind at all. You understand? I feel like this phoenix is, you see how the phoenix was laying down like that? Right now the phoenix is removing, castrating, separating, they done cut their hair, they are washing away all their old sins and they are being reborn again with this Phoenix card. So right now they are they are in this separation. They are in this 
replenishing this renewal kisses they're blowing kisses to the sky and what is this girl talk right so they might be talking to their friends and it looks like again unconditionally loving giving and receiving affection falling in love time with friends moving on happily single living in the moment having fun all right so it seems like blessings into the future again they're going through this like i like prayers and i don't know what to say about you boo boo i don't know what to say um give me guidance for this person under this palm tree um this person under this palm tree i don't even know what to say honey. this is a lot this is a lot give guidance and protection spirited energy for the person that is expressing all of this hate, this jealousy, and this animosity, and this sick energy. We want to pray over them in the name of Jesus. Um, please give them guidance and stability and security and growth. And, you know, please help them grow, Father God. We pray over them in the name of Jesus. Give this person guidance. All right. Because, of course, we protect our own in the name of Jesus. You know. Even when they be doing wrong sometimes. Listen, judgment day. Judgment day. Like I told you, this person that this um, individual is jealous and that they're preying upon and, you know, they're feeling, what does it say, vengeful and they're using low vibrational magic and word vomit, what, vengeful and all of this stuff. Listen. God has put this person safely under a palm tree. They are stable. They are expressing stability, uh, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. They are safe under the palm tree. None of that stuff can touch them. This person will see their judgment day for all of that negative shit. And they will be called. And justice will be served. Do you understand what I'm saying? You understand? So it don't even matter what people try to do to you. You are safely covered under the palm in the in the blood of Jesus, I will tell you that. Nine of Pentacles. This person will sit there and see you thrive. Financially, successfully, in security. In everything that you do. In every single thing that you do. You will be blessed and abundant in every single way. In every single day. Because you do demonstrate good judgment. And there will be justice served for all. For you and for them. Everyone has their judgment day. The emperor. It looks like whatever man that was. That this queen of uh, voice. This queen of swords. Was trying to hold back. And doing low level magic. And trying to keep this person. In, in fear of making a decision. And taking action. And growing. And doing all this stuff. Listen. This man still grew up to be an emperor. You cannot stop people from doing what they need to do in their soul's journey. You can't. It don't matter what type of magic you do. It don't matter. No magic, none of this shit can defeat God and his, and his plan for us. Do you understand what I'm saying? None of that has no power. It has no magic. It has no truth. Do you understand what I'm saying? The only thing they do is put that arrow towards their self and they fall on their own sword. You didn't do nothing but make this man stronger. Make his blessings longer. Make her blessings stronger. Make her blessings longer. Okay? The Lord see all. And everyone has their judgment day. Okay? And you can't ever stop nobody's victory. Victory is here, baby. Alright? Victory is here. One more. And then I'm going to out of here because this video about to be two damn hours long. You got anything else to say, Father? Let's see. The Ace of Cups in the reverse. You cannot stop true love. You understand what I'm saying? If it's real, it's real. If it's not, it's not. If it's meant to be, it will be seen. If it's not real love, it ain't real love. You cannot force love when it's not truly yours to be had. You understand? Okay? If it's not natural, don't force it. 
especially do not use any listen do not be trying to manipulate love to your benefit you ain't doing nothing but hurting yourself listen because you will end up having to sit back and be hurt by still watching these people thrive do you understand so that's just what it is. Anyway, you guys, this has been a long reading. Listen, the Queen of Cups. Y'all better come on here, Scorpio. I love you guys. If this video resonated, y'all click this button. If y'all need a personal reading, y'all hit me up on Instagram. Dear Lord Jesus, I got to go. I love y'all. Peace.